Hey guys, this is Paulio Jr. And today I wanted to show you, I know I haven't done a video in a couple days, um, but basically I wanted to show you the difference in transfer speed um, from transferring a file to your external hard drive um, using either the USB um, or using the eSATA and which one is quicker. So um, I was gonna use um, my you know my regular little uh, Polaroid cube but I figured this would be easier so let's just get right into it this is my actual external hard drive so when I got it I noticed I had a USB and I had an eSATA and I had never really messed around with eSATA before um, but eSATA is basically external SATA and it's typically um, only on external hard drives so, and there are a couple computers that have the eSATA port on it. Uh, some of the newer computers have the actual eSATA, but most do not still. So, um, what I'm going to show you right now um, is, number one, what you need to get to have the eSATA. Um, so, this is the first thing you would need the actual because you can't just plug a regular SATA cable into here um, you can get the eSATA, you can get all this stuff on eBay for next to nothing uh, maybe five bucks for everything you would need the actual eSATA cable and then you would need um, the, uh, the little converter here so this this guy plugs into your the PCI opening but it doesn't actually go into a PCI slot so this plugs into your opening and then this plugs into a SATA port onto your motherboard and that's it so plug the wire from here to here um, put that in your PCI opening and then plug that into your SATA uh, port on your motherboard and when you do that it'll come up um, it'll just come up as a regular hard drive it won't come up as a removable hard drive but it'll come up as a hard drive so um, so that's what you need to know in order to get if you do if you don't have any uh, eSATA capability as far as being able to use it now what I really wanted to show you was the difference in speed so this is my external hard drive and I have it plugged in right now and right now I just have the USB plugged in so we're what we're gonna do is see the difference in speed between um, the USB and the eSATA. So I'm gonna, I mean, this is gonna be, a, you know, as quick as I can. So what we're gonna do, this is, uh, don't worry, I own this. I, I own the actual uh, copy of this. So um, <laughs> this is a 1.85 gigabyte file. So uh, to 2005 standards, it's not that big. But it'll give you um, it'll give you a really good idea of the difference in speed. So we're going to use the USB. I'm going to drag it over and then hit start as soon as possible. So right now we're copying uh, with the USB, and it always seems to start out fast, but it it USB 2.0 usually hovers between like 40 and 60 megabytes a second uh, when transferring files to it. So um, this 1.85 gig will probably take um, maybe a minute I'm thinking close to a minute so let's see how that goes and then we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the USB and I'm gonna plug in um, the set the uh, eSATA uh, wire into the hard drive and see the difference uh, between the two so I'm gonna stop when it's actually completely done as soon as it's completely done and come on I'm saying a minute boom okay we'll, we're gonna say about a minute for the USB which is which still isn't bad for you know almost two gigs now what I'm gonna do is unplug the USB cable and I'm gonna plug in the eSATA cable 
into the back of the hard drive and it's gonna pop up but like I said before when you plug in the eSATA it's not gonna pop up as a removable drive it's just it's gonna pop up as an internal drive so let's just get to it so that took about a minute now we're going to use we're gonna do the same thing but with the eSATA uh, cable instead which is plugged directly which is basically going to uh, the SATA port on the computer uh, on the motherboard so let's see how quick that goes a little quicker <laughs> if you see that bar so um, the speeds are typically oh you always above 100 megabytes a second um, so I guess right so let's say and stop okay so there's your <laughs> so the I know 2000 2015 uh, you know 1.85 gig may not be considered very very large but using that um, you know 1.85 gigabyte file you're able to see the difference uh, in the transfer rate so we're just gonna we're gonna round USB up to 20 even though that's what it took and we're gonna just round this at a minute uh, for the eSATA so what you just saw from transferring from my computer a 1.85 gigabyte uh, file took about 20 seconds we're just gonna say and I mean with the eSATA it took about 20 about 20 seconds we're just gonna round up and for this we're gonna round up a little bit down to a minute so we're gonna say this is 20 and this is a minute so it took a minute to transfer 1.85 gigs from a USB 2.0 um, from the hard drive to the computer uh, from the computer to the external hard drive and it took not even 20 seconds to transfer that same exact file using the eSATA cable <laughs> so basically eSATA is five times faster than uh, USB 2.0 um, I know USB 3.0 is out but USB 3.0 is still not as fast as uh, eSATA not yet um, it's not fast as SATA yet so um, yeah so long story short if you do have an external hard drive that has the eSATA capability here um, take that five bucks that it cost me to get these three things or to get these two things um, the actual eSATA cable and then the actual adapter to go into your motherboard um, so when you're doing backups so say for instance if an entire backup let's just say it were to take you five hours using USB it would now take you an hour you know and you know and so forth so eSATA <laughs> just from using this is approximately five times faster 500 percent faster so I would spend the extra couple bucks um, and get some inexpensive parts. I wouldn't even get them out of store because I I think it would, you know, probably cost you at least, um, you know, over twenty bucks to to get those um, to get the wire and the adapter and so forth. Because that was just a problem that I ran into was that I had the eSATA port and I had nothing to plug it into because you can't just plug a regular SATA port into here. So that's everything you need to use it and get get rid of it don't even use the USB um, um, especially for backups uh, it's good for doing you know if you're you know doing a, a couple files and so forth and it's a removable drive that's fine um, but if you want to you know you can turn off the you can have it always plugged in and then just turn on the hard drive the external hard drive when you need it and then um, start putting files on the external hard drive and like you just witnessed um, it will go five times faster so that's all I wanted to show you was um, a, on a very on a smaller scale and even I backed up my whole computer today 
and I did it in maybe um, Jesus, uh, not maybe it took me a half hour. But anyway, long story short, if you have the eSATA port, um, utilize it. <laughs> and, and if you're gonna have it, if you, you have the eSATA port on your external hard drive, um, get these two things right here. Um, they're really, really inexpensive on eBay, and um, it'll save you a lot of time, especially for backups and uh, a much larger files than you know the 1.85 gigs. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was short, um, uh, uh, short and sweet. Um, but it was just something that I would, like, I know people see it and I'm just like, I, you know, I'm not really going to play with it. Um, but it's definitely worth investing $5 if, even if it's that, you know, um, getting those two wires online. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and thank you for all the subscriptions and comments and likes and so forth. And, uh, if you have any suggestions or any, anything else, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm always available. Um, I have a lot of um, things coming. Uh, a new website. I know I've been putting that in the uh, in the annotations, um, but I'm actually working on a different site where the um, my where the the you know where I have like that maze site is going to be really more of like a of a of a hobby thing than saying this is my main site. So. Um, a lot more videos are coming, and if you have any um, questions or even DIY stuff, software stuff, let me know. Um, you know, and I'd be glad to help you guys out. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.